February 1945. World War II had been raging for nearly six years. U.S. forces battled across the Stepping Stone Islands, inching closer to mainland Japan. Ahead now stood Iwo Jima, the most heavily fortified island in the world. On the brink of battle, Kurabayashi watched the sea from his command post, waiting for the attack. They're going on the toughest assignment of Marine Corps history. all jacked up, you know. Most of us couldn't figure out why we were taking that wee little place and why we needed so many Marines to do it. Twenty-four hours after the battle began, more than 500 Americans were dead and nearly 2,000 wounded. There was an odor of death on the island. We thought they were Japs laying on a pile covered with ponchos. They weren't Japs, they were Marines. The commanding officer asked me, as the only flamethrower operator left, could I do something about some of these pillboxes that had stalled? My remark was, uh, I'll try. In the 34th replacement draft, right. um, is, this, is this someone that you recognize? Oh yeah, it was my buddy. Gray, I think his name was Gray. He was my uncle. He was my buddy, a foxhole buddy. He'd always call me Pop. We ended up buddy buddy more with Harry. Thank God we had each other, you know. We were laying in a crate of me and Harry. He gave me a quick hug and he took off. That's the night that we had an awful mortar attack. One of them landed right between Harry and the kid next to him. Killed both of them. And I went over and I, I, I wanted to kick him like, why did you do this? You know, don't you know I love you? <laughs> I never saw him again. Seventy-five years have passed since the last days of World War II. Lives have been lived, children and grandchildren born. But when the men of Iwo Jima reflect, they still wonder sometimes why they were spared and others were not. Well, what we had to do to keep our country free. Mm -hmm.